everyone, this is Lindy and I'm Russell from Love Create Celebrate. Welcome back to our channel where we share all of our DIY and home renovation videos. If you haven't subscribed, you should hit that subscribe button and follow our channel so that you can be notified of future amazing videos from us for your viewing pleasure. So today we have a great video for you. We are sharing some makeovers that we did in a local hair salon. We uh, ventured outside our home this time. We took four days to totally make over two hair salon bathrooms. And even though it was a little bit crazy and very busy, we're really happy with how it all turned out. Yeah, it turned out awesome. And even though the initial plan was three bathrooms, three days, which in hindsight was cray cray. <laughs> we majorly underestimated the time that it was going to take us to do these makeovers. So we still have one bathroom left to go in a couple of weeks, but we're really happy with how the first two came together. Yep. So let's get started. We'll show you the whole transformation and how we change the rooms from start to finish. So here's the two bathrooms before we got started. They have gray concrete floors, white walls, and a similar design, just opposites. It's a great blank canvas to start with. In designing for this space, I actually created two different mood boards for the salon owner, and this is the mood board that she ended up going with as the design for her new bathrooms. It showcased a deep color for the board and batten, a few different wallpaper or wall art options, and some nice warm tones in the golds and the woods of the shelving and the mirror and accessories. So the first step was just to clear out the rooms. Um, there's a bunch of old things that weren't going back. There's some old paper towel holders and some artwork and some storage pieces. Just need to clear it out so we could give it a fresh start. Start with a blank slate. The second step was to install the board and batten. Based on Lindy's vision for this space, this would give it a pretty cool uh, look. And then I think the intention was to go with like a charcoal color um, and that we'd use a paint sprayer to put the paint on. We started by adding the horizontal board and batten pieces and then moved on to adding all of the baseboards. Once both of those were up, we started putting in all of the vertical slats for the board and batten. We will be sharing a full video tutorial on how we measured out the spacing for the board and batten and all of the steps we took to put it on properly. So stay tuned for that video. When it's ready, I will add it to the description of this video. Once we had the board and batten up on the walls, puttied and sanded and ready for paint, we moved on to sealing off the entire space so that we could use our paint sprayer. We used drop cloths from the dollar store to seal off the ceiling, the door frame, the sink, and any parts of the room that we wanted to protect from overspray with the paint sprayer. So the color that we wanted to put on this wall was this beautiful deep charcoal and there were lots of other deep tones and contrasting tones in the rest of the salon so I knew that it would fit in nicely to do that in the bathroom as well. Yeah. We used a paint sprayer to spray it in the entire bathroom and the vanities in each bathroom. It only took us about half an hour to spray a whole bathroom and we really only needed to do one coat because it was a nice thick coat. If you want to see the paint sprayer we used, I will link that in the description below. Once the board and batten was installed and painted, the next step was wallpaper. Lindy picked out this really funky uh, 
design and had a bunch of ladies' faces on it. Um, it's perfect for perfect. a hair salon. Yeah. Uh, everyone loved it. It was fun. And actually, initially I saw it and I was a little bit concerned, but the paper, the pattern on the paper is actually pretty forgiving. It was a really busy pattern, which actually helped hide some of the scenes where we came to corners that weren't perfect 90s or not 100% level. It really worked well for that. And it was a, it really complemented the dark uh, board and batten. So we decided to go with the paste the wall wallpaper, or also known as the non-divorcing wallpaper. <laughs> Um, we've used this in the past and it works really slick. I've never actually done the old style wallpaper. But I have, and I, it's not okay. nearly as easy. Everyone I, everyone I talk to about it say they have almost divorced their spouse. So we've tried to avoid it. This was easy. <laughs> yeah, no, it, went, it actually, like, you definitely need two hands, like two sets of hands for it, but the wallpaper went on the wall really, really smoothly. After we had those up, the next step was to put the flooring down. We just chose a vinyl plank flooring and we glued the whole floor for it so that they would have a nicer flooring in that space and just something that would be able to stand up to the wear and tear of people coming in and out of the bathroom. It felt a bit warmer too than the great concrete floor. Oh, definitely. That was much warmer. Not to forget as well, we have that built-in that we installed in the one bathroom. We had actually built that in our shop home before the weekend just because we knew we'd never get that done during the whole rental and you also have some curing times for paint and varnish so kind of think of it as a custom built-in that we bought at a store that matched perfectly for paint and size <laughs> but we put it in the space it's going in the washroom that's primarily used by staff or more often used by staff and that way they could have a little bit more storage in that space yeah we mounted it to the wall the moldings tie into it it's all cocked in so it looks like it's it's custom built for this space, yeah, which it was. Which it was. So. One other thing we had to consider was all of the commercial elements, which was very different from doing a space in our own home, which is what we're used to. So we had to consider things like accessibility, having the bars up, the proper paper towel holders, the faucet that turned on automatically, the commercial rubber trim on the ground. Lots of things that presented new challenges for us that we've never tackled before. It was just, I mean, yeah, you just had, it was just another couple things to think of when you're putting everything together. But it, I don't think it was definitely necessarily difficult. It was just more things to worry about. Yeah, just things that you wouldn't have to think of in your typical home yeah. bathroom. The final step was to make the room even prettier by installing all the Lindy things. We put in new mirrors, new faucets, new hooks. Um, and a few little decorative elements just to make it feel beautiful and styled and fresh. Here's a few videos of the finished bathroom spaces. We honestly could not be happier with how it all came together. I love the contrasting deep and light colors. I love the warmth that comes from the flooring and the wood tones in the space. I think it all came together really beautifully and I know that the salon owner was really happy with this space as well. I still cannot get over this wallpaper. I love it so much. I saved a scrap of it just to put in a frame somewhere in my own home because I was so drawn to it from the beginning.
So we are really happy with how the space has turned out. I'm I still can't believe it all came together in just four days. Two bathrooms in four days. Um, but we're really happy with it. I hope you guys liked it too. If you enjoyed watching that makeover or you'd like to see more, please let us know in the comments. We would love to hear your thoughts on the whole space's transformation. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up as well. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on more great DIY and home renovation videos. Thanks for watching.